what is happening my lovely people uh, it's gonna play some more goblins some more some more leagues um, gonna use the exact same deck as last time want to be more bit more testing for this a uh, couple of things that I like more a couple of things that I like less but still think I need to to test it quite a bit more so we can start this see how that goes there we go alrighty play 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 yes cool um, this Sunday probably gonna be playing the, the showcase this Sunday three days yeah so wanna see which list I'm the happiest with this is expensive okay yeah I'm just gonna play the the showcase mm -hmm. this came in. yeah yeah so I'm still between like what I've been working with Eli here just do need one some more testing in this I'm I'm unsure about a few things like the main deck your weak squad I think it's the biggest one um, the rest I don't know I want to see what else I miss more did you cut red did you cut the red for full rough I'm not playing stronghold now <laughs> um, if you're asking if if I would do it uh, I think that's a consideration I, I would not cut red though definitely like I, I feel like this deck already has one less like 16 red sources I think it's one less than I'm comfortable with to be honest I would like to play first thank you I do not want to get this in really want to keep this hand as well but I think I will because I think I got a bad lens not particularly excited about this Mountain, so could be the mirror, could be storm, could be burn. I think porting is not the way to go, so I'm gonna play my dude. If if it eats a bolt, I think it's done its job. If it's burn, but it's not okay, so. A bit scared. Um, cutting Trash Master and Chain Wheeler from the deck, it's a bit uncomfortable from the main deck because they are very useful. Uh, not only not because they're in the main as well, but um, it saves you sideboard slots, which is very important. Uh, no, this is what are they gonna play? Oh, is this just? Big red. No, no, it's yeah. So parting would have been awesome then, but I don't think I was supposed to know that. Oh, that added a lot of mana. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think like this deck, this matchup is really bad actually.
Do they have any food? Oh, they, they did they break? Ignite the future? It's just one in the Ah they bricked. <laughs> ah, that is so cool. Alright, they have zero cards in hand. So I'm really tempted to play the war chief so I can actually have a clock. They do have a lot of mana, but they have have to draw a business spell. I don't know how likely that is. To 19. Do I have any dated lists? Uh, Ruby Storm, right. Some people actually. Sorry, I cannot. I'm just trying to to see if it if it is better to port uh, waste or war chief here. And I'm really considering war chief because they have zero cards in hand, nothing in the graveyard they can use. Hey, Jarvis is off. Jesus, not playing. I mean, they have to draw additional mana sources as well. They cannot go off. Six. This one's got like two mana. They can have three, four total afterwards. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to go with board. Oh shit! All red spells cost one less. Why did no one tell me that? You silly bastards. So, get gas dead. But, yeah, I. No? spells you cost okay all oh, right all right all right so stop do I just I cut them off red right so they cannot cost anything and then I can waste them next turn Oh, it can be played up until the following turn. Jesus Christ, okay, I need to read those cards. Uh, Double dash, oh, that was some time ago, <laughs> thanks. Um, so it's just hit again and port and waste. I think so, they are, they are dying. Mountain. <sighs> what happening here in the chat? Okay, they, they found another land. So, it's just got a lot more scary. Because I think any of their business spells is just going to do it. I 
mean, they cannot get to 4 mana for Ignite the Future if I port. If I War Chief, they're dead in 2 turns. something else. What is happening? Why are you streaming? Yeah. Very weird. Very, very weird. Okay. I'm gonna go for the two turn. They drew it, they drew it. That was so funny, I was just like watching an old video actually. <laughs> ah, that's kind of, I mean. It's best to be exiled and in their graveyard. Oh, did they have it? Oh, okay. Uh, they would probably do it. Yeah, they would definitely do it with the port as well. So... Yeah, Seeping Sounds cost just two. Maybe I shouldn't have bored the last turn. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have bored the last turn. Um, just cross or chief with that. Yeah, that, that would have been lethal in my last turn. Okay, let's go. Good to know. I mean, I'll just let them do their things. I'm going to pee. So I just really don't like this matchup. Um, and you can come in. Don't know if Parkinese is to kill that creature. I didn't even read it. Um. <laughs> don't think they play him to the Warrens, do they? Be good to stop. I mean, it might be better than these cards. 
I need then an expert to kill one of their that those creature if they have. Surgical and a crater maker on two. Let's keep this. Search code and create a maker on two. There is a board as well, though. So it's slightly more interesting. Okay. Uh, I get rid of the mons. Doesn't really do a whole bunch. Matchup. I mean, keep it in like to combo with Sling if the situation arises. them now though. Gee, look at that shuffle. I think I can board them and then next turn I can destroy the ruby medallion. I think that might increase my chances. have to hope that they're dependent here in Boston Flames and that I can search for a key piece of card draw. Maybe I should just mulligan for trap. So they can get like four cards. Okay. Okay, so I can I'll be able to destroy one of those. Oh no, I cannot this this is red. God damn it. Uh they need mana to cast their cards. I'm st I still I, yeah, I'm gonna destroy the medallion. And then Following turn, I can matron for a trash master, I think. It's very unfortunate because they'll be able to cast another medallion very easily, but. Unless I search go medallion. I should. I actually think I should because Medallion can set up uh, the following turn kill for them.
Oh, I didn't think about that as well. Yeah, yeah, well played. Um, so they have Burning Wish and another land. So they can discard their land from their hand. Get two new cards. Maybe I should have gotten Dark Neases then. At least they cannot cast like empty the horns, uh, which I could be able to beat, to be honest. But oh no, it took out <laughs> the chain reeler. in flames so they can discard it and like keep going this is just so good is there like a ritual in the sideboard Oh, they get Echoes of Ian's trying to get LED. Oh, they got another Burning Wish. <laughs> this time four. So maybe it's something that they're just going to discard as well. So they can cast that for two free mana. Oh, shite. Oh no, they cannot pass in flames, can they? No. I think I'm matron for Prospector. <sighs> Try to destroy that next turn. I I think I'll even lose from that center, from that situation, but <sighs> yeah, Pyrokinesis would have been really, really good. Mm -hmm. 
it's so ridiculous. It's just like a draw. Draw two. That draws more cards. Ah, uh, so it is over, right? Yeah, it must be over. So yeah, definitely bringing in Parkinesis next time I play against this. But Jesus, this is a bad, bad matchup. Especially if I don't see my mind break traps as well. <laughs> yeah, so next turn to Pyrokinesis, I'll cut the Bashalik Mons. Maybe the second expert. Maybe they didn't have it. I forgot that the burning wishes get exiled. For fuck's sake. And they have free burning wishes. So how would they actually kill me? Uh no, so I just con conceded a game where <laughs> Oh they have four burning wishes. They, they still have to find it though. Oh well. That's <laughs> why, right. yeah, God, just, just let them do stuff. Oh my God. So they're almost out of cards in the graveyards. Oh shit. It's just good testing for the challenge. That's all. All this needs to be. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards against them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards take out. Hmm. For fuck's sake. Why did I just concede? Hmm. Feels bad, feels bad. Alright, it's gonna be even more satisfying winning from getting a full one after just conceding your your first match for no reason. Mm. Not a fast interaction deck, or that they cannot deal with my vials, and then we're good to go. So, nightmare scenarios they take vial and then decay my vial, 
And then I'm like, why even play Vios? Jesus Christ. No, okay. You want to get rid of all my other cards. Maybe they have a him follow up. If I draw a portal or waste, that would be fantastic. Okay. If it is him, this is really bad. But. There's literally no way of knowing. Oh, wasteland. Okay. Makes me happier. So it could be a bad Delver kind of deck. Or Depths. Oh my. Again, him would be terrible, but... Okay. So bug. Is that a Strix coming? Or a library? Goyf. Dark Confident. That one I can just kill now if I want to. If I draw land, that would be very good because I can do that with gem bomb instead of expert. Mm. I think it's worth it either way. Love one more mana or with the bio like a one more, but yeah. Just an item card draw. Seems like a decent plan. There's the time of life. Don't think I have to do anything during my upkeep. Because I have a four and a free drop. Or Chief can help me cast my two and one drop, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like bug control, but are confident and wasteland. It reminds me of like Team America from way back in the day. They play dark confidence and goifs, tomb stalker. There was no delver, but it was a mongoose. Uncustable card, but fine. We got a bio coming up to five next turn. Mm -hmm. Slightly annoying that I cannot kill that guy. 
There we go. Oh, I mean, I can. Yeah. All right, so perfect then. Good against bug. Uh, Blood Moon is alright usually. <sighs> Don't usually like Power Blasts because it's mainly for King Trips then and Counter Spell. I don't even know if they play Delver, so I don't know about Parkinesis. Tarfire is good against Dark Confident, Turbo against Goyf, so that's. Uh, Trade up, I don't know if I'm willing to do. So, this is my for sure. Uh, they're, they're gonna play um, Engineer as well, so I might as well lean against that a bit. Probably bring the Muxes on the play and I'll reassess on the park knees. This is, I think this is okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, sure. They have discard spells so they can take the Blood Moon home, but. If that leaves me revival sticking up, that's good. And I think I just basic mountain and vial. They have wastelands. Uh, don't think there's a point of sandbagging vial because of these. <laughs> Also, then I all gonna always have red for the star fire. I would love if they taste this actually. I mean, unless they thought seize my second bio next turn and I never draw another land. There it is. Hmm. <laughs> Still think it was the right play. So it is Delver for sure, which was like 99% chance. Port would be amazing. Or third vial. Can work with that. This is like really tilting for opponents. They they're like destroy vial, force vial, uh, discard vial, and I top deck another one. I do think I'm gonna play all my non basics either way, just in case. Well, they don't waste me and I draw another land. I'll just jam a Blood Moon, I don't mind. I mean, they can be in a situation where they have to keep uh, base or force. In hand, the guy for be big. <laughs> mm. 
I don't think there's a big upside of expert to read this. Definitely not our fire need. Okay, it's a card. I could do it in myself and start taking the artifact away. But they may have Angler, which they might want more cards in the graveyard. They have other things. Uh, if they play a boy, I can just kill it so it doesn't really, really matter. My dream is for them to play a Plague Engineer. Goif. Okay. And it's over. Okay. So. That Goif is just dead. Uh, wonder if it's okay for them to have a creature in the graveyard. I think it's fine, because I could do it in my turn. It cost me a mana. If I draw a blood moon, and I and I want starfire in my turn as well. to do. Got more mana. So this makes me want to wait a turn now. So I can dodge a daze. attack here. They block with Strix, that's great. So I can save my Tarfire even. Yeah. I think there is no real point of playing the Blood Moon. I mean, discard spell is a thing, but... I don't think they have like four... I don't know. Maybe I should have just played it. I'm gonna be very sad if they thought sees me. Thermograph, okay. Blue Elemental Blast, that would be very bad as well. Oh no, they don't have anything. Right. Let's get to a white sneak thing in.
All right. I don't know. I think I'm going to start writing down things I'm not sure about. Like, then I can ask. So, I actually think, to be honest, I could have won all the games we played. I want to play for the very time in a row. With an incapable hand. What do I think of this? to keep it does mess uh, and I think I start with mountain prospector because I don't want my covering getting wasted even Though that might sound like another great plan from the op opponent's point of view. Because I, I have a prospector in play, but it would be really bad for me. Okay, so... Ponder, right. Think, then... I am just porting here. This could be a polyphoro of things, but yeah, port into Warchiefs probably. What I want to be doing. Do I really want to develop the clock though? This might be better. I haven't played in such a long time, like even things like this is. But I think that saving my crater maker for something that they might have in the future is probably better. Because it's not the huge clock I'm missing out on. And I don't know what I'm playing against. Love to see that keep brainstorm. They did not shuffle. So they're looking like like one extra card than they knew from the bonder. Yeah. This uh okay, it's kind of controlling deck maybe. Ooh, this makes me want to wait another turn so I can go or chief power driver this <sighs> a more martial now. I mean, I could have done it this turn by sucking the prospector. Still, like this could be alluring, this could be miracles. It's very, very likely something with Roro. Okay, black. Strips. Yeah. 
Oh man. One turn earlier I would have cost this quad. Oh, there's no way I can cast it now. Now I'm thinking I'd play Power Driver Pass or Then I'm thinking if I attack or not. <laughs> because now it's not going to be the war chief. I think I power driver pass and wait for a better opportunity to cast this. Squad, the right tech though. I think then blocking is really bad for me, especially like if I just draw on Muxes. I'm gonna port this because I think all the black removal spell is instant speed and they are probably gonna use that in response to a port. Now if it's an abrupt decay they have to well yeah they, they would have to tap off but if it's fatal push they, they're still gonna to do that. Decay, okay. I want this squad down before they can tighten me now. Uh, pretty sure I should wasteland though. I think I can wasteland port, yeah, and play the Brady Maker and Pass. It's all good. Wasteland, black source, yeah. Setting up for that weird squad. It's gonna come, it's gonna come. Don't you guys worry. to wasteland and I went to port and I went to squad. Mm. If I attack with both and they block crater maker I think that's the best case scenario which I think is what's gonna happen. Because then I can do everything. I sack the prospector to cast here in squad. I can waste and port and they're gonna be in a three turn clock. The block prospector. I don't actually know my play then. Yeah, cool. Oh, we cannot do everything. 
Oh no, yeah, I have to sack Prospector. Uh, I guess I can do that after looking at their deck. Good old pause to read. Okay, so we roll. Okay, the bonus for some whales. One, two, three. Might have one in hand. Then Hope Richard Case. What do they have in hand? I think they they have some four stifles. Oh my god. That is scary to be honest. Mm. No Assassin's Trophy, which is good to see. Four push, four decay, four tricks. They have a brainstorm in hand. Brainstorm, a force of will in hand. Must have another land in hand. And then two cards that are not in here. So I'm assuming like a Titan. And maybe Sinif? I don't know. I could take out no what do I take out? I think I think it is a row. Even though I, I have the mana denial plan in action. Hope Richard Day's undoing, yeah, that's what they're doing. Um Kuro might get them back in the game. It's going to be very hard for them to cast it though. Actually, I think I'm going to go for Strix. Maybe I should have just ported. I know they have a brainstorming hand. Um, so I could have put the forest, but then Treasure they have green, then then ponder mana, I think. Wonderful. Two turn clock now, and they play tricks instead of the the flash one for some reason. Yeah, cool. All right, so what the hell do I want? Um, I mean, 
they have a like three different win conditions, which is Hope Witchers and Days in the Wing, which Power Blasts are really good to dealing with. They have Field of the Dead, which Blood Moon is quite good to deal with. They have one, two, three basics. Yeah. It's not many. So Blood Moon might be a thing. Because I imagine all of these counter spells are going. And they have. They're not the fastest, so Muxus is good. They're far I can stop a Hope Breacher. I don't know if that's what I want to be doing. And then there is Krakas or Relics. I know squad was good, but I don't think that's what I want to be doing. You can come out, you just kill that tricks, which is good. But... Really, really neat, I think. Uh, they probably bring Plague Engineers as well, so... That's consideration. They got a couple of D's. Other creatures are blue, so I kind of want to keep these guys. Um, they can take you out. Do I want the Caracas for row? It's funny that they don't play a single Leo vote. I just take out the lackeys completely on the draw. I'd like Tire Fire to hedge against Plague Engineer and Hope Breacher and Relic of Progenitus. Grenzo doesn't look amazing here. I don't know if I want the Caracas or not. My god, I need to be again. I had like a pot of coffee before <sighs> starting this. Maybe three blasts is excessive. I mean, I haven't played against Hope Richard Days in Doing at all, to be honest, so I don't actually know. And with the stifles as well, might be important. Very few basic lands, uh, which makes me and a uh, weird weak squad a bit more because it can take basic lands out. I know that they have to have a high, a different land count because of Feud of the Dead, but there's no covert and regular ones, not like they're playing Ice Fang Koto. One breeding pool. One underground sea. Tropical in there. Bio in there. So they maybe had a, another shock land in their hand as well. To so this, it's really hard to find out what they had in their hand. Definitely force brainstorm. Mm -hmm. 
and I do assume, Jesus, for Spring Storm, I do assume one more land that could have been that second shock land. My basically two forces of negation. So I think basically if I stop, yeah, I think I should have had two relics and a Caracas to be honest. Because I'm thinking if I beat Uro and stop them from the undoing me, I win the game. It doesn't know. Don't like this, but. I'll keep. I get rid of that. I think I'm gonna draw a mountain eventually. Crater Maker is good against. Yeah, I don't. I don't like you playing cards. Oh, I should have done that in their upkeep because of crop rotation. Maybe they have in the sideboard or something. I don't think my decision matters here. I love that I have a Muxus in my hand, so that means like late game Golden. Uh, I think I port once and then play War Chief. Those two lands that they only keep, they did mulligan quite a lot, didn't they? Okay, they gave up already. Oh no, 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 no. B again, just sec. Hmm. Okay, 2 1. Still think I could have won all the games I played. Why well, wasn't so silly? Yeah, I need to find out. Four for four on the play, Jesus. Um, sure. I'm gonna lead on Wasteland, which is usually what you want to do, but I, I don't mind drawing more lands. I don't want to fetch four basic mount and draw another one, then an expert that I can ever cast. Hmm. 
if this make them get basics, be it. Unless it's a combo that shouldn't really, really matter. Okay. Oh no, is it again? Oh no, punishing fire. Uh, sure. I think the Strash Master is gonna be good. Hundred percent play this because if it is what I think it is, they might play like Blood Sun. Uh, it was like a a grassy version of Dragonstone B. Cycled it four more times, put in the battlefield, and again an 8 8 triple haste. Okay, so that's new for me. I think I played against that card. Maybe once or twice, but Black it would have been great here. Um I have to practice fetch as well. <sighs> Do not think that they're playing. Wastelands now, not after that blood moon. Oh, I could have wasted as well. Uh, if they name Wasteland, I can matron form or, or marshal. Yeah. That's still not great though. I mean, I keep my ring leader, I get to cast Trash Master. Um, okay, I can destroy that if I want to. Um, I take that back. Okay. Well, at least I have Vi going up. Yeah, sure. I was thinking, like, if I get a Crater Maker, I'll probably just Crater Maker the Mox. And I think I should Wasteland them. And pass. This could be bad if they had, like, another Spyglass. Destroy my vial. Okay. Don't do anything, don't do anything. I just ignored this. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Can matron enough turn? Second time. It's scary they have a lot of cards in hand. Mm -hmm. 
second spike glass would be very annoying. Oh, second groove is very annoying as well. Though I have the Trash Master in hand to make my team a little bit, a little bit better against it. Uh, no idea what to go here for though. Crater Maker is decent. Muxus is decent. Second ringleader. I think I'm gonna get. I think we're gonna get Crater Maker because Vyra's gonna go to four and one. I don't wanna cast this ring later because they can just punish Fire it. Uh, so my next goblin is gonna be Trash Master at their end of turn. Um so if I get a if I get a Crater Maker now and then I and I draw a land in my turn, I, I at least have a play. Because otherwise I don't wanna play any two drop or one drop. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Crater Maker. Our land would be good. No. Um, they don't know I have the Trash Master, right? No. Oh no, they do. Of course they do. Because I can play the Crater Maker, and then if they punish and fire it, I can violate the Trash Master. Violet in next turn. Which seems better. Unless they get another spike glass. Oh my god. I don't think they play boats. I think they're gonna kill Matron in response. No, no. They can only use Punishing Fire once. If they do play both, this is just terrible, but I'm assuming that they're gonna get it back at the end of their turn. But I should probably get the trash monster down already. Cause if they don't, then they beat me. Hmm. The reason I want to uh, create a making play is like if they have, they're playing their Odrazi version, having create a maker against a uh, potential dot dot series good to have it played already. Um, I 
This is worse against something like a Chandra or Fourth Land double double punishing fire. But I think any of those two situations I'm ahead. And against the Odrazi situation, if I don't do this, I can be behind if that Ringleader doesn't do much. Third time, that is a bit scary now. It's just an 8-8, eight eight, doesn't do anything. I'll be... violating this Ringleader in my upkeep, just to see what to do with this Violin, if I draw Muxes as well. I oh, I I wanna go out five. There it is. This file goes up. And this file goes up. Just attack. Um, I could play Grinzo, but then I cannot activate Traitor Maker. I can violin Grinzo, but I don't want to lose the instant speed aspect of it. If I destroy this and then this, I lose the clock. If I just destroy this, may trap me. I'm just passing. See what they do. Punishing fire doesn't kill anything. I have lethal even through a sweeper. Much more than lethal, so I could destroy both of their artifacts in cost of a chain layer, but
Okay, this was quite lethal. Uh, good muxes. Alright, uh, punishing fire. So I need one. This. Blending doesn't seem great, but maybe they do have the Odrazis. Uh, Muxum seem okay. I'm scared of, um, Torpo Orbs, but then there's nothing you can do about it. I haven't seen a single creature other than that one, so I don't know if I want Arachnesis or Tarfire. I may bring Blood Moon under play, depending on what I see then. But I think in a draw, I'm just going to go with this free. Driver usually just eats removal. Maybe I don't need these much removal, but I don't know what they're playing, so. I may just bring one search code then. Yeah, one search code for a blood moon. And then I have blood moon and search code against punishing fire. Okay. It's not bad, but it's not great as well. Like if I just don't draw cards that are not lands, this can be a good position. It's gonna be a good hand unless the land is port or waste. I'm not depending on fetches, I'm not over limping on vile, because those two can be spy blast. <laughs> yeah. So they probably mean Mesa here. I mean it's a stone ring. They could name Wasteland or Trash Master or Crater Maker. It's not an easy choice. I would really like a wasteland here if they don't name wasteland. In any wasteland, I don't want a wasteland. Greater Maker, yeah. Oh, look at that. Well named. It's like the new. It's like they knew. Hmm. Okay, so now I have only Trash Master to destroy this. These things. <sighs> I think they must have a Punishing Fire. The red mana being a uh, hindrance most of the time. Oh, I think I'll play this Greater Maker. Oh, why didn't it click? Okay, missed the damage. Let's get another 
basic whatever. Oh man. No punishing fire. Hmm. So what comes in? Five mana. Oh maybe maybe the deal five to me. Or it's just enough toughness here? No. Six mana, endless one. Oh, that thing. It costs seven. So the legend. Yeah, I should bring. Um, What's it called? Caracas. So no. No, if they have exactly punishing fire, I lose if I don't leave any blockers. Which is annoying. So I'm gonna. Prospector might be better than the Crater Maker. So four twelve. If they have the punishing fire, I die the way. Because there's no way I can block the creature and there's no way I can kill them if I if I live a blocker. So I live a creature maker, I go to like I live the prospector. Unless the green leader is really good, or I get a mux. No. Maybe. Twelve damage with bow drivers. Maybe it was wrong. Um, it's eleven damage with the sling gang. That's a terrible draw. <laughs> yeah, I think I dug myself into a corner here. Maker wouldn't have been lethal, but I, I think I, yeah. So I don't think there's a way I can survive. Uh, if I play Sling, I go 
equal to I mean, yeah, maybe Sling is my best choice. You still produce mana. Yes. So I'm dying here. Oh, I would have won this turn with the Crater Maker if I just attacked with Crater Maker and it don't have Punishing Fire because I would have lost to Punishing Fire either way now. So bad play on my part. both of them are lethal next turn. Okay. <laughs> so that was just badly the place. So the Caracas is more useful than I thought. I think go just for that card is really bad. Um, still haven't seen the Odrazis. I think this is it, to be honest. It's like, play better. If they don't have turn one, Um, turn one. How is it called again? Jesus. Spyglass again. I think this hand is alright. losing to my own mistakes. I've been twice in this league already. So bad in this game. Oh, I did one by one damage as well. Oh my god, so like not attacking with Prospector because I just passed the, the text tab. It just literally lost me the game. No, oh, Blood Sun is terrible for me. <sighs> oh.
Oh, I'm so upset right now, and I'm gonna lose this. <sighs> Blood Moon would be really good for me. Oh my. I'm gonna do one damage to all creatures and destroy both my vials. That would be not cool. I'm gonna they play Blood Moon. And I brought in Blood Moon. So maybe it was wrong. Yep. Look at that start. So this two lands are dead. I mean, this adds colorless. Alright. It's alright to lose in the, the testing games. Torpor Orb. Oh my god. Renzo. So if I get a fairy confluence or something, maybe I can cast that. And they don't have anything. Which is very unlikely. glass and then something else okay I cannot cycle this can I God. Seriously. Well, if he keeps on drawing lens, he's going to be able to attack. Oh, they have two cards in hand. Oh no, it's their turn. Okay, this can not attack. Two damage to all creatures again. Uh. Uh, 
Nah, losing this was terrible. It's so extremely favorable. Maybe this was a bad keep. Why didn't they attack me? What are they afraid of? I'm saving this. Cast the muxes now. You can do two damage at a turn with that punishing fire now as well. Funny thing is like their devastating fairy confluence, which kills my creature starts two vials. It's like doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> the creature would have done nothing. My vials would have done nothing. about their poor arm. So this did absolutely nothing. Hmm. So it was actually actively bad playing it. Because now if I draw a trash master or a crater maker I'm gonna be very upset. Being blamed for Turbo Orb again. It's unfair. I mean, Snapcaster Strix, Koto, and all, but. Doesn't stop a row, does it? No. I mean, stop the good things, doesn't like 
doesn't need to be escaped now. I think I'm too much of a low life. Then even just saving like two life or one life, it's good enough. Frustrating loss. Definitely won won game two. If this people playing Torpor or points, this is the second time I played against Torpor Orbin. Something else against it. We like an abrade that is good against creatures and and those artifacts. Data makers, I don't know. Kind of don't want more crater makers. They've been utterly medium. Win this and another draw and another mulligan. So I'll go in according to plan and then a second mulligan. Okay. I don't think I can afford an expensive card. I think I need the vial. Yeah, let's let's just draw good stuff. So I cannot even waste land turn one. 
<laughs> what do I get now? Jesus. <sighs> Could have been lucky. Or I can also play a port, so in case they, they play a non basic, I can waste the port them in my turn. What they do if I just play like if they force this, I might play the other lackey. Because they 100% have removal as well, so it's not like having the two lackeys in play is that important. I don't think so, at least. Okay. Alright. You could draw. I can port blue, stop them from pondering, no, oh, brainstorm upkeep, no, it's still better than, I mean it's worse for them than main turn, main phase brainstorm, so still happy with the choice, mm -hmm. brainstorm lock, it's a brainstorm lock, yes, oh it's so cool. I think I'm okay with getting my cards at bottom instead of the land. Might be better in the long game. Um, or Marshall can start attacking, which I like. Maybe they force this, which is not terrible for me. Force of negation, which in a row. Okay, so War Marshall would have been better. I could have started on the prospector though. So if they force. Okay, cool. I think I'm attacking because I have a clock now. 
could have attacked first. So they would definitely block. Moxus. No, oh, Matron. This doesn't actually decrease the clock because I think if I attack with Prospector, they're going to block the Prospector. So it's still going to be just like one damage a turn either way. Um, happy to see that you don't have anything to do. With green, black. They don't have a Snapcaster as well. Sorry. these in my hand now. It might be extremely re relevant. But maybe they think it's a Muxus. Come on, goblins! I think this is better because then if they have removal for the yet because they don't block I know it's one less damage but they don't block because otherwise they can block and then kill Trashmaster this way if they kill Trashmaster um, I can respond kill Strix This part of the game must be over now. Not yet. Okay, that's funny. And I can set the token to kill the Strix, I guess, as well. I think it's worth it. I, I kind of think it's worth it, because otherwise I cannot attack with Trash Monster. Oh, 
and the clock's much slower. If their answers are decays and pushes, I want to do it now as well. Intuition. That's unexpected. Search for freelance is going to be very funny. So, what am I playing against? This is a Luren. Because I think that would play all these cards. The basics. I think I have to give them life from the loan, so they cannot use it now. If I give them Uro, they may even break on lands. That would be extremely funny. They're not going to be able to do anything this turn. Give them Wasteland. The Western Pass. I think I give them loan because the, the yeah. I think that keeps them furthest away from Uro. Because that probably means I can I can port one more time. Oh, they did break. I feel like I should play Grenzo after combat. Just so they see like one less card. I tempted to steal Port Island because if I give them because if their only play is Their own play is um, Loam. I have Lethal. Then, like, if they have a Strix now, I cannot take them to one. Stop them from strixing. Which they probably have, right? No, 
Oh, let's see if that's right or not. You can get a bio or a wasteland. Or a misty. Ah. Okay. I think this was a mistake because getting a misty is actually really good because they can fatal push. Uh, trash master. Yeah. Okay. That was a mistake. I thought a little bit more. I'm worried about time. Uh, there might be two more games after this. Oh, bio. Okay. More chief. So they cannot crack that Misty. So they need the blue shards and Strix and for me not to get a Goblin. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. And I was not going to get a Goblin. God. Really need a wee, but a couple of these, a couple of this, and the Caracas and the Muxus. Sorry, fuck me. I think this is what I want. Just be a second. I don't know if I want all the power drivers from the Mongo Marshall. If I want all the prospectors. And if I want all the removal. <coughs> Just a few things. I don't like it, but I think that I should keep and just maybe counter whatever the hell they do. Because if I draw a cavern, it's really good. If I draw a port, I think it's really good. Thank you. 
It's a board, board cover and vial. On curved goblins. You know what? Screw your streaks. I'm gonna play on the curve everything. Oh, okay. I think if they, if they want to force a Mogul Marshall, it's fine. I don't really like that Parablast play, but. I wonder if I should give Matron as a bait or not. Don't think so. Why do things before combat? I don't know. Sometimes I just like not to make sense. I could get a Muxus. Which might be the right choice. Get a weird weak squad that is really bad against the engineer. Let's get a Muxus. And maybe the game will go long enough. If they waste, I can War Chief. Hopefully they crack that. If they don't, I can bring leader and save my war chief for later. If they euro, if they euro, I still think I ring leader. So we would have probably used DK on. Okay. Oh, what vial? No way. Let me just play fire then. Start its ascend. Wastelands and ports would be great as well. As with the other Pyroblast, a Relic. Goblins. Yeah, I think I'm going to crack this fetch because I just don't want to. I have two basic mountains and a bed lens. Incentive to crack this fetch. I think I ring leader and hit for three more damage. Um, I think they only have one wasteland, but just in case. Source is good. Yeah, 
not a basic mountain, I mean. Alright. I like Bashalic Mons here. Both Mons is better to hold off from attacking, but since they may have play engineer or something, it's, uh, it's better to deal the damage when I can. Um, pressure is important as well because hopefully they don't have like time to loam and then do stuff. Now, do I expect a force? Because I can just... A Shalik Mons and Expert. I can War Chief and create a Maker. And then even hit for two. And they kind of have to kill the War Chief. If they don't, I can do the, the Bashalik Mons play the next turn. Is that too greedy? I don't think so. Okay, so they have to kill this, so that's two mana that they're going to use. Bro, alright. Oh, we went to the graveyard. have two green. I can just special like months, but I think that's too conservative. Even if they get two green, they I think Mox is a little bit better than... I'm gonna... Um, Matron for a Prospector. I don't have many goblins in my deck left. <laughs> oh, Prospector, that makes this. Expert or Gem Palm still in their turn. They still know my whole hand. So they don't know about the Expert. Oh, Primeval Titan. Jesus. Oh no, we're up. Okay, cool. That's gonna trigger Field of the Dead, which is annoying. Or they don't have a land. 
which is good. Okay. All right, cool. I don't think I need to leave black up. I'd rather have my prospector in play. Four lands of Iowa and Caracas. Wonderful. So I think they're beginning of combat. I'll prior blast hero. it again but that costs four mana so they cannot cast like engineer or something like that and then I can actually I can kill it next turn and then swing yeah this is amazing so if they break on the land again, they had two draw steps. Um, if they break on the land, that's going to be okay. They found the land. Um, three, one, two. I may still be able to kill them this turn, my turn. Uh, but I don't know if I can play around anything if I do that. They have a decay. They have decay, maybe they decay prospector now in response. Oh, they have that. Um, three, four. That is fine. I get the land. I don't think I should sacrifice more goblins.
if I lose this game, it's going to be a really fast game for me. Force, okay. It's not expecting this. So I haven't seen a force. Um, so one, two, three, four. Sacrifice a goblin to kill that. I think I do it. Lethal. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right. Got forty-two again. I do think I lost both matches to my mistakes. Uh, not saying that I would won the first one. But yeah, that did happen. Still unsure about squad. Still unsure about tar fire as well, to be honest. Because if I play against like that that deck I just played, it's like I want I want all these cards. I don't know if I want a tar fire as well. I may even want a blood moon depending on your mana base. So and then Cuts are really hard to make because they just want so many things. Uh, it's going to like three. That's going to be like seven. But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna keep on testing. I'll let you guys know how it works. But thanks for watching. I did, and let me know what you think. Bye.